Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Rajan Sharma, and I'm back in a new video. So, guys, in this tutorial, we will learn that how can we show the message count, okay, the message count of messages that user have not seen yet, okay. For example, if you receive any new message in the application chat it and you have not seen those messages, so you can see the number of new messages that you have received from a particular user. So that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial and we will also implement the functionality of sent, viewed and seen, okay. Like I have added this functionality in previously but the problem is whenever a user will see the message, it is updated at seen, okay. But now at the receiver side, if you receive any new message and you will see the message but still you will see that new text as in that chat head and that is not a good thing because if you have seen a message then you should not see that, okay. You should be, you should see something else that yeah I have viewed the messages. So this is a very interesting and you can say cool feature that we are going to add in this tutorial okay and in previous tutorials I have shown you so many interesting features as well like reacting to a particular message, clearing the chat, end to end encryption and uh, you know uh, offline pro profile availability and there are so many exciting features you know um, etc. You can check the playlist I will give its link okay. So in this video we are going to learn this uh, really cool feature so I hope you guys gonna like this tutorial okay. Do not skip any part of this tutorial just go through the video and uh, do not try to just skip the video all the time okay and if you want a source code you can simply join the membership or you can send money on PayPal, UPI. There are so many platforms that you guys can use to purchase source code okay guys. So this tutorial is going to be super simple, easy to understand and everything is super simple okay because uh, whenever I try to create tutorials, I try to make it simple, I try to make it easy okay. So without wasting time, let's start. I will show you the output that how exactly it will look if you will implement it okay guys. So guys now you can see that we have this application okay so I am running one app in my mobile and other one in the emulator so you can see that we have these users and now it is showing as seen so now I will send a message from my physical device okay so I will simply say hi bro I will send it so you can see that here we have a message count of one and also it is showing as new okay now I will go back so here you can see that it is showing as sent and here it is new now when I will simply uh, send uh, when I will open this one so you can see that here it is showing as seen and here it is when I will go back so it will show viewed viewed means that I have seen that message and that message count is also removed okay and now if I will send a message from here like uh, hey I will send so you can see that here we have a new message and if I will send another one that uh, hi so it will increase the message count so you can see that now we have two new messages okay guys so now I am also receiving the notifications if you want to learn how to push this notification simply check description I will give its link okay now I will go back and here you can see that it is showing as sent and last message timing okay guys so now when I will open this so here it will simply show as seen you can see that it is seen okay I will go back and now it is showing as viewed so guys you can see that this functionality is working absolutely fine everything is super cool so guys very first of all here you can see that we are going to do is you have to open the list item okay and it is an item layout file for the item of messages for you can say recycler view which we are fetching here in the fragment one okay. So in fragment one we are fetching the list of last messages and users we are talking to or basically you can say chat window okay. So you have to open the list item dot xml and then guys here you have to simply add this text view so first of all let me make it visible so I can show you for the demo so you can see that this is a text view and how it's gonna look you can see here okay guys so just let me yeah so here it is okay so the layout file will look like this so now you can see that this is a code for the text view okay and uh, now here so let me show you that here you can see that we have this uh, linear layout and just after this linear layout we are using this scene text view okay and then after that you have to use one more text view which is for uh, width is 25 height 25 text uh, 10 and the gravity center text size 10 dp visible we will make it invisible by default for now showing you uh, i have just made it visible then padding 1 dp text color white and background m number back so let me show you the background also so you guys will not be confused m number back okay here it is 
so guys here you can see the layout code okay that how exactly you have to create simply create a shape then solid purple 200 and then radius 80 dp okay so this is code for m number bag now after that you have to simply you can see the codes for this text view okay now i will make it invisible yes so guys, now after that you have to open the message model guys and here you have to create one more child which is m number means message number okay and then simply creating this child you know that how to create getter and setter simply select this then alt plus insert and then simple getter and setter okay and then now you can see that we already have that's why the option is not visible so alt plus insert getter and setter and then control plus a and then enter then you guys will simply get the getter and setter like this okay get m number set m number fine so guys now after that message model you have to open this message activity and guys here we will create a reference for storing that message okay so first of all you can see that we have this last reference which is uh, scene status as a database reference here you can see that we have seen status after declaring this status guys you also have to declare two strings which is key one and key two okay so now simply make it scene status key one and key two okay after that guys you have to simply open this on create and here we will give the reference for real time database which is very simple and easy part this is scene status and you have to simply pass the name scene status okay now we will come inside the send button so when user will click on the send btn so what exactly we will do i will show you okay so guys in the end you can see that here uh, basically in the message you have to make set m number zero by default okay so whenever you will send a message it will be zero okay now you have to make it zero for the senders okay in the senders reference not for the receivers one okay got it only for senders for the receiver part just leave it okay just pass null now you can see that we are having this string key and we have this string two key too okay so remember these two keys because we will need it later okay guys so now after that here you can see that we have the reference for chat list so this is a chat list reference for senders okay and this is a chat list reference for receiver so now here guys you have to do is you have to increase two more strings in the chat model or you can say list model so you have to open this list model and increase two strings key one key two okay and then simply uh, again select these two strings and then click on alt plus insert and then simply you will uh, have to select getters and setter and then control plus a and then enter okay guys so this is how you can get the getter and setter for these two strings as well now after that when you will have this so you can simply open this message activity and here guys you have to inside this chat reference you have to pass those keys for set key one you have to pass key for set key two you have to pass key two okay guys so now you have to pass these two values as well and in the receiver side also you have to do the same step okay now in the last you have to simply use this uh, scene status reference dot child then pass key then child receiver uid then you have to set value sent and scene status child key to okay make sure do not pass same values otherwise the results will be different okay and you may not get the expected result so simply pass do whatever i'm doing follow the steps very clearly okay and correctly now simply set value new so this is the two steps that you have to do so now when you will click on the send button so it will simply store the data and message status in real-time database that message is sent and uh, new for the receiver side fine so okay after that what you have to do is uh, now we have to fetch that data that yeah we have uh, this uh, sent data and new child inside a real-time database so for that what we will do we will simply use our list view list view holder class where we have to check that yes here uh, we have to show okay guys so now how it's done let me show you so first of all just open your fragment one okay guys and uh, here you have to do two things which is the first one is you have to fetch that key one and key two values here okay so simply you can see that in previous tutorials we were only fetching these two things post key and receiver uid now you have to increase two more strings which is key one and key two because we need these keys okay so here you have to make it model get key one mod get model got model da, model dot get key one and key two okay so after fetching these two keys guys what you have to do you have to simply pass these strings inside the message activity as well okay with that intent now after that guys you have to simply use a try okay try and catch and then you have to create a method which is holder dot check m number means message number you have to pass current user id you have to pass receiver uid you have to pass key one and you have to pass key two 
okay and inside this exception part you can give the any message you want so now after implementing this part of code inside this uh, uh, on start method we are we are fetching the chat list okay guys so now after creating this method you have to open this list vh and here we are implementing that method so first of all you have to give the reference for this chat list okay guys for both the users now it is sorry it is a reference for messages now after that you have to give the reference for the scene status and the scene status now i don't think that i have to show you this database reference as well because i if you are following the tutorial from the beginning then you guys will understand that what is this database what is this database and how to give the reference okay so that's the easy part and if you don't know you can watch the tutorial from the very first part okay guys or you can if you don't know about firebase you don't know about android studio then you can go to the very first video of my channel and then you will learn everything from the scratch the easy tutorials are live okay guys so now yeah give reference for this one then give reference for this one and here you have to give the reference for the m number tv or basically it is a text view this one okay guys so now after giving its reference come back to this model class view holder class so guys after that here you have to simply use a handler okay now handler handler equals to new handler and then you have to simply use that handler and uh, handler is not that important but in case you know sometimes you may receive the null you cannot pass null string inside the database that's why i'm using this handler for avoiding errors and in the end if you want so you can see that i am passing zero seconds so basically it is useless okay so now after that using that handler uh, you can see that this is our code so you have to simply write down scene status dot child key one dot child receiver uid okay now add value event listener and then new value event listener then simply inside this you have to write down if snapshot exists so you have to simply fetch that value of that uh, ruid so string scene status equals to snapshot in snapshot dot get value dot to string and now we will again do the validation that if screen status equals to send we will make it sent then we will make it invisible and if it is equals to scene then we will make it seen and we will make it gone okay guys now same thing we will do and here you can see make sure that you pass receiver uid and uh, now in the second part you have to do is simply again screen status then key to then here you have to pass senior suid and then again we will do the validation that uh, if uh, status equals to new we will make it new we will make it visible if it is viewed we will make it viewed we will make it invisible so that is a part of code which is very simple you can see everything on the screen i'm not hiding any part of code okay in this tutorial so if you guys may think that i hide it to do i hide the code and then i uh, purchase it uh, via memberships you guys are right okay i do that but now in this tutorial i'm showing absolute i'm showing every part of code okay so you can see that the, how it's done and then you can simply uh, close the codes okay guys so this is how it's done let me show you everything from the beginning okay so this is the reference this is the reference now uh, i'm showing everything you can pause the video write down the codes okay you can see everything on the screen and then this is for second scene status and this is how we are fetching the data okay so now now guys we are simply checking the status that if it is seen or not okay so that part is done now we will focus on how we will update the data okay guys how we will get the number of new messages which equals to zero so where this is a very simple part again okay so what you have to do you have to simply you can see that we have given the reference for that to here we have the reference for receivers okay site as well so you have to simply use that reference here create a query query receiver order by child m number equals to zero and here it will simply get the number of uh, childs which have the value zero so zero basically means that we are uh, we have not seen that message so it will simply show the number of messages that we have received okay and uh, in the error part you can show anything so this is a code for showing the zero messages okay guys and in the message activity remember that you only have to pass zero for the sender side okay senders model side not on the receiver side make sure only for senders in the receivers no you don't have to so now after that list vh here we are finally getting the number of messages new messages that we have received and we are simply also checking the status of this okay now after that you have to open the message activity because uh, now we have this uh, zero by default so we will have to make this zero one when we will open the message activity so it will change the status in real time database that user have seen that message so we can make it seen instead of sent okay guys so now for that what you have to do is we will simply go in the bottom of the application and uh, here we are having this update uh, viewed and this update scene okay so first of all let's focus on this update scene part okay guys so first of all you have to declare a current user id 
like this then we are you can see that here we are updating scene so you have to simply use map string okay object string object then create a variable for map the new hash map then map put cuid means current user id and then simply pass scene okay guys then firebase database dot get instance dot get reference child scene status child key one update map and this is the exact part of code that you have to do okay do not make any simple change and make sure you follow all the steps very carefully otherwise it may create problem so this here we are updating the scene status same thing we are here updating the viewed status okay so this time you have to pass suid create a map 2 and here you have to pass the key 2 do not get confused with this key 1 and key 2 okay make sure these two values are very different so don't get confused so this is for key 1 and key 2 so that is how you can update the viewed status now this is a code for this update scene method okay and then you have to call these methods update scene and update view inside the on create method or inside on start method whatever you want okay you can do it now after that we will focus on this update viewed method so inside this method guys you can see that let me show you the code okay everything is visible pause the video write down the codes now we will come inside this uh, update viewed okay so here the part is again very simple you have to simply create a map okay with the name m number and we have to pass the value 1 so after that you have to simply use that reference for sending messages s reference here you have to pass suid equals to ruid sorry suid equals to suid query create a query and then here you have to pass that data like this one and then it will be updated query query add value wait listener okay now for data snapshot snapshot colon snapshot dot get children it will simply get that particular children and then we will get the reference and then we can simply update that children with this so it will only update that particular child it will not update the whole data inside that node it will only update that particular node okay which have the value suid if it's equals to this value so it will do the updating performance okay updating operation so this is for sender side and same procedure you can simply copy this code and uh, we have to repeat for the receiver side as well so basically we are not spend setting the data inside receiver but still okay just uh, do what i'm doing and then guys you have to simply pass this as well okay for this receiver side qre1 qre1 and here you have to again send a map okay guys so this is how uh, you have to you can update the 0 to 1 when you will open the message activity and list vh and uh, i have shown the codes on this class and uh, also when you will uh, open this fragment once we have to pass this data key one key two because if you will not pass these strings so here inside this message activity inside this you know update viewed you guys cannot update the scene status so that will not uh, show that message is sent or seen or viewed or unseen okay guys that's why you have to pass this data from fragment one inside this fragment inside message activity and so we can here perform the functionalities okay so guys now so guys, if you like this tutorial, so please like, share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. Thank you for watching.